Why is this the worst place in Glasgow to set your watch? And where is Glasgow's very own Leaning Tower? Find out now, in this episode of Astonishing Glasgow. Today's bimble has brought me to Charing Cross. Traditionally this marks the point where the city centre ends and the fashionable West End begins. It takes its name from a block of tenement flats called Charing Cross Place, built on the southwest corner in 1850. It's a very busy and very noisy road junction now, but it was once the meeting place for Glasgow's Hoi Polloi. This patch of grass was the location of Glasgow's Grand Hotel. Built in the 1880s, it was one of the poshest places to stay in the city, and the location of many a wedding reception and more. On December 22nd, 1891, the hotel hosted a lunch in order of Buffalo Bill, who was in the city with his show. So that day, this technically was where the city centre ended, and the Wild West began. The hotel was demolished in 1969, along with many other buildings, to make way for the M8 motorway, which now dominates the area. Even though it's below street level, you just can't get away from the noise. But without it, all the cars would be choking up the city centre. Thankfully, one of the buildings that survived the M8 wrecking ball was the glorious Charing Cross Mansions. This red sandstone curved tenement block was built in 1891 to designs by Scottish architect John James Burnett. Born in 1857, John James Burnett grew up in Glasgow before studying architecture in Paris, then returning to Glasgow to work with his father. He helped with the facade of the Union Bank of Scotland right here on Ingram Street. His was a style that was adventurous and modern and was named the Burnett Baroque, taking its lead from the London architecture scene. During his career, he unsuccessfully submitted designs for the Glasgow City Chambers and the Glasgow School of Art, but still left a significant mark on his home city, with the Athenaeum on Buchanan Street, the building of the Clyde Navigation Trust on the Broomalaw, and of course, this grand Charing Cross Mansions. He was knighted in 1914, for designing the Edward VII Gallery of the British Museum in London and continued to work right up till his retirement in 1935. He passed away in 1938 and is buried in Warriston Cemetery in Edinburgh. And the reason why this is a bad place to set your watch? The clock in the building has no mechanism. It never did. It only exists to look pretty and was never designed to work. So unless you're here at 2 o'clock in the morning or the afternoon, you're too early or too late. There are another four clocks on the cross however, but before I tell you about their story, if you enjoy this video please hit that like button, check out the other videos in my channel and hit that subscribe button to be notified when more stories of astonishing Glasgow are uploaded. To get to the next feature on Charing Cross, and possibly its most famous, I'm going to take the footbridge, as the traffic down there is absolute murder. Coincidentally, this area was known as the Square Mile of Murder in Victorian times, after a series of murders which scandalised society. On the corner of Sucky Hall Street and Woodside Crescent, stands, or leans, the Cameron Memorial Fountain. Glasgow's very own Leaning Tower was built in 1896 in memory of Glasgow politician, newspaper owner and campaigner for temperance, Sir Charles Cameron. Ironic that an anti-alcohol campaigner should have a drunk memorial. On the top there is a four-faced clock designed by Robert Alexander Dreyer. This was replaced in 1908 but on the day I visited, neither of the clocks were showing the correct time. It's a common misconception 
that demolition of the hotel and the building of the N8 caused the lean, but it was reported to be starting to limbo as far back as 1926. So the next time you are stuck in traffic here, speeding underneath on the N8 or waiting for a taxi after coming out of the garage, you will know some of the astonishing stories that this junction could tell. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and check out my Facebook and Instagram pages for more pictures and updates. The links are down below in the description. I'll see you next time in Astonishing Glasgow. Right, I'm away for a rolling sausage and a slice of caramel shortbread. Mm -mm 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 -mm.